Guys, I filmed this video and I was more than halfway done. I just went to go look at the footage and I hate the lighting. So I'm remaking this, the whole video. Um, so, what is up big heads? I'm Queen Milan, as you know. You know the vibe. If you clicked on this video, you are trying to better your skin and I am the right one to teach you how to do so. I'm going to tell you guys how to use your products and how to get the best benefits out of your products. This will get your skin glowing, popping, clear. Please don't mind my room, please. <laughs> my bed looks like I'm a hobo. I swear, all it is is clean clothes. I did my laundry, I made three loads. Whites, oh, y'all don't care. Okay, basically just ignore my bed. It's not dirty, it's just clean clothes I need to fold up, which I will do after I film this, I promise. I'm a savage, yeah. Classy, bougie, ratchet, yeah. Sassy, moody, nasty. Acting stupid, what's happening? What's happening? Hey guys, so I'm going to be going in order of basically like how you would do your skin routine and give you guys tips and tricks along. So it's gonna be all organized, I got you, don't trip. So we're gonna start off with how you should be washing your face before you even start washing your face. I wash my face with my hands, but I do not recommend you do that because the benefit of it isn't as good as if you were to use a washcloth. So first things first is you washing your face. Now before you even wash your face, you should be washing your hands. Common sense. But a lot of people don't do this. Literally people wake up in the morning, they get the product, they put it on their hands, they start washing. Nah! I don't care if you were just sleeping for 10 hours. Wash your hands! Then you get your product and you put it on your hand. Wrong. You should be using a washcloth. That works so much better. Yeah, I do wash my face with my hands, but it's not the best and I've been trying to get into using a washcloth and I already see benefits. I've been doing it for two days and my skin is already having a really good effect. This is simply because your hands cannot get as deep into your face as a washcloth because they're your hands. You can get a washcloth from Walmart, Target, the dollar store. Like, it doesn't have to be no fancy $20 or some Gucci washcloth. You should be getting hot water and just wetting your face before you apply any product, like any product at all. This scrunchie is so big. Like, Anyways, um, hot water actually opens up your pores and it gets the product that you're going to use a better effect on your face because your pores are actually open to get the use of the product. Hot water and cold water have two different effects so you definitely need to be using them correctly. You should not be putting cold water on your face and then washing your face with your product. Please don't do that. You're not going to get anything out of it. Your products are not going to have a better effect if you do that. You don't have to do like 100 degree boiling hot water but get it as hot as you can and just just splash okay. I know a lot of people that don't even wet their face before they wash it they just get the product and put it on their dry but other dry skin that is disgusting not only is that disgusting to me but it just will not help but ignore the fact that i don't like it it's literally just it's not good for your skin you should not be applying products to dry skin are you dumb your pores aren't even opened your pores are closed if your skin is dry so y'all are <laughs> think that one through so once you wet your face with hot water then you want to get your product and apply to your washcloth and with your washcloth you want to go in circular motions upwards do not wash your face downwards don't do none of no that like what you look dumb <laughs> if you don't want to use a washcloth that's fine but even with your hands you still need to be going circular motions when you're washing your face don't do none of this go in circular motions upwards this is such a big thing that a lot of people do not know or just look down on and they think it's irrelevant because like why is washing your face a certain way gonna help trust me it helps it helps with textured skin te this helps with textured skin, so if your skin is like slightly rough or it just has this strange texture that you don't want, it's probably because of the way you're washing your face. So not only do you need a good product, but you need to know how to use it. So, use it right. If you go downwards, it's really not going to do anything. Yes, your skin is getting clean, but is it going to be clear at the end of the day? No, there's a difference. And a lot of people do get clear and clean confused. You think if you're cleaning your face, it's going to be clear? No. Two different definitions, so please do not mix those up. That's another big thing. And please, another thing that a lot of people miss is your hairline or on the sides right here or even down here. Like, you should be washing every part of your face. And a lot of people miss areas like right here by your hairline. So if you're breaking out on your hairline or down here or over here, it's probably because you're not showing as much attention to those areas as you are to the center of your face. Like, yeah, this part might be clean, 
but this part ain't clear or clean because you're not cleaning it once you're so once you have so once you have rubbed in your face product let it sit now a lot of people do not do this you put on your facial products and then rinse it off what is that gonna do let me know I like to let my products sit on my face for at least a minute and a half that's the most that is the max you shouldn't leave it on any longer than that because then it will literally just go into your skin and sit and it won't wash all the way off so don't leave your products on for too long but not enough once it's sitting you need to rinse off your face with cold water and you shouldn't be doing like the commercials they just splash water on their face and no you need to get a washcloth or your hands whatever you want and you also rinse off your face in circular motion so I get cold water it's strictly important that you use cold water because cold water will close your pores so hot water opens them up so that your product that you're using can really have a benefit into your face and then to close it to close your pores you need cold water get the rag wet it with like ice cold water and just wipe it off I'm sick of seeing people say on YouTube or just anywhere that you should dab your face dry with a towel no that is a big thing as to why a lot of people have textured skin you need to let your face air dry what can possibly happen if you let your face air dry let's think dry off towels or just any towel that you want to dry your face off with that's just sitting around it can collect dust and dirt and grimy stuff and then you're just patting your face with that like no so just let it air dry nothing wrong will happen and your skin will also not be textured so overall that is a summary on how you should be using your products and how to get the best benefit out of your products now I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on just how overall your skincare can get better and your skin can be clear so I talked a little bit about this in my last video I'm not going to go too in-depth but this is a big thing you you guys need to know the difference from pores, pimples, zits, and bumps. These are four different things and they need to be treated four different ways. You may think you have a zit and it's really a pimple or vice versa. So if you're using a product for pimples when you really have bumps, you're not going to get a good outcome. If you want to learn a little bit more about that, go watch my previous video because I don't think I need to talk about it too much if I already have a video talking about it. I'll link that video down below as well. So just know the difference from those four things. It's a big thing on skin because those are the things that are on your face. And you need to know what they do, how to treat them in the right way, and you don't want to get them mixed up. So the topic of acne overall, when people think of acne, they either think of pimples or acne scars. I feel like when I hear acne, I also think acne scars. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. For pimples specifically, to get rid of them, you should not be putting toothpaste on them. I don't know what life hack or what video y'all watched to think that that was right. It's not. If you didn't know, apparently, if you put toothpaste on your pimple, it will pop, go away immediately and like overnight. <laughs> yeah, it might go away, but toothpaste is not good for your face. You should just, overall, you shouldn't be putting it on your face. Toothpaste is made for your mouth. Don't put it on your face. If anything, you should be putting alcohol on your pimples to get rid of them. I don't mean go to freaking Food for Less and get some drinking alcohol. No, I mean rubbing alcohol, the 70% one. If I can find a picture, I'll put it on the screen. Take it out, please. Snag it out, wish, but it didn't die. <laughs> oh, it's five o'clock. My stomach is growling. I am so hungry. This is a big one, and I know people say this a lot on like videos on YouTube on how to get clear skin. But no, I'm not about to say drink water or change your pillowcase. No, it's to wash your face and have a routine and do it consistently. Everything in life, not just your face, in order to get a good outcome and the effect that you want, you need to do it consistently. You want clear skin you need to be washing your face consistently and if you wash if you wash your face once every day bro you're nasty to me you're nasty to me. <laughs> I have a lot of friends actually that don't wash their face in the morning they only wash it at night okay cool do you um I don't roll like that I don't roll like that. I don't I wash my face in the morning and at night that is two times a day sometimes three I've lately been washing my face three times but that's because I'm on quarantine and I have nothing better to do what I'm about to say probably sounds crazy and extra but if you do it you're gonna see results you need to set a time for when you wash your face morning and night and if you want in the middle of the day I just do it whenever in the middle of the day I don't have a set time if you do this and you keep washing your face at those exact times and you do it consistently week after week after week your face will get used to it and it will get clear washing your face three o'clock next day you're gonna wash it at like one and the next day you're gonna wash it at like five like your skin needs to like have a schedule like I know it sounds dumb but trust me if you do it consistently it works now as for products that you use on your face, I'm not going to show you guys the products that I use. There's no point. 
for me to show you because every product that I put on my face there's no guarantee it's gonna work for you and I hate to promote products that I know for a fact do not work for all skin types so you really just have to figure out what works for you yeah I guess you can look up some recommendations on what you should be using but it really is just what works for you and I also like to go by this little quote like if you think it works it works I swear best thing 10 out of 10 is to use natural products and you ha you're gonna have to do your research on this because I don't have a whole list of natural products that I can recommend you guys because I didn't go that deep into this video sorry I can assure you for all skin types natural products work the best <coughs> so weird out of all these tips that I have given you honestly out of all the tips that I have given you guys so far I think one of the biggest ones is exfoliation now let me explain why just like you exfoliate your body you need to exfoliate your face and it's for the same reasons your skin has multiple layers of skin it has the alive skin it has the dead skin it has the mm, skin on the top is your dead skin to get rid of that the only thing you can do is exfoliate if you're using like some clean and clear products to get rid of dead skin no it's not how it works you need to exfoliate your face just how you exfoliate your body or i hope you exfoliate your body because if you don't you need to be doing that but yeah you should be exfoliating your face at least two times a week i sometimes do three that's like the max though i will not go over you're exfoliating four five six seven times a week your skin will be rough and textured Okay y'all, so my camera just died, but I just changed the battery, and I also am running out of storage, so I need to go get a new SD card, but no one cares. Basically, I'm trying to make an outro, um, so yeah. I'm also really bad at outros, don't judge, but I don't know, they're just so awkward to me. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want me to do a part 3, because I have done this video before, like I said, it will be linked down below if you want to watch part 1. I definitely recommend you watch that to just get a little bit more tips that I didn't speak on in this one. I do have a lot more tips that I would love to share with you guys, but I don't want this to be an hour long video. So like for part 3 and subscribe with post notifications because I am actually uploading consistently now. I'm back on my YouTube grind because I'm on quarantine and I definitely have nothing better to do because I can't go anywhere. Guys, yeah, subscribe if you're new. I really hope you guys enjoyed. It and I love y'all so much with my whole corazón. I'm still speaking Spanish and I'm out of school. Speaking of that, actually, before I end, yes, I'm out of school for a really long period of time. I want to make a video of me doing online school and showing you guys how it is and just showing you what I do and all that. So if you want that video as well, let me know. Leave something in the comment section. I miss replying to you guys' comments and I miss it. Like, my comment section lately is so dry. I want to talk to you guys. I want to communicate. So leave a comment down below if you're feeling spontaneous. If you're feeling like a baddie. I love you guys. And remember, if you're a clean babe, honey, you slay every day. Love you guys. Bye. Ew, I, I need to find a new outro. Please help me. Because saying bye, I sound like a three-year-old. Okay. Bye.